I know. All right, guys, we're picking today's video up right where we left off in the last video. Um, I was getting ready to leave, and Braven asked me how easy is this thing to drive. So I was like, you want to drive it home, bro? Let's go. <laughs> Just know you're riding dirty. You better watch out for the police. <laughs> yeah, it's the same pattern as the EK. It, first through fifth, you're in gear. For real? Yeah, you need to even check. <laughs> Turn the fan on. There's our little switch for the fan down there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah. yeah, this thing isn't as rev happy as the as the EK is, yeah, though. I think that's what it is. That was yeah. It's also a lot more like. Yeah, you gotta give it a little bit more RPM when you're taking off and shift a little sooner. It's not bad. It's not bad. Dude, we really gotta get a new windshield. Good lord. Oh, I know. That was the whole like. That was the whole recording from the last video. Uh -huh. It feels pretty smooth though, huh? Yeah, it's not bad. It, you can tell with the truck though. Yeah. Like, and you can feel the weight of it. I don't yeah. know if that makes sense. No, it makes a lot of sense. Take off in first. Stick to one lane? Yeah, stick to one lane. <laughs> <laughs> This thing had no no power in it when I was trying to do that. It has like 80 horsepower, bro. What you talking about? Well, our Honda's come almost nearly with two times the amount of horsepower. <laughs> Not the single cams. <laughs> <laughs> this thing would get up and go. We put some nitrous on it. It would. That's all we gotta do is make a a, a homemade little turbo manifold and put some nitrous on it. Oh and it'll freaking yeah, bro. Put a little baby turbo on it. Just a little guy. Yeah. I feel like I was in fourth gear. Like I took off, yeah. Uh, like it takes off so slow. Yeah, it does. It's a really slow truck. It's not a race car. <laughs> yeah, I can feel that. The EK has a little bit of pep in its step. Yeah. But, you know, you I love that. Top of my head. <laughs> I like it though. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's fun to drive. I bet in the summer it sucks. Yeah, windows down. No biggie. Window down. Because there's only one window. Whatever. Big ass steering wheel too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking steering the damn bus, boy. been here before man uh, you guys I'm sure know exactly what it is I'm doing I'm jacking the car up in the front I got to get it up as high as I possibly can uh, this is literally just for cleaning purposes man <laughs> I'm going through all of this so I want to pressure wash out the inside of the car um, the inside of the car is pretty dirty I mean it's not okay I'm not gonna say it's I was gonna say it's not terrible but yeah it's pretty bad bro like it rained out back in the booth. All the water went inside of here. There's so much like dirt and buildup. Like I just really want to get all the dirt and everything out of khaki before I start assembling it. Um, because there's there's just been years of just stuff built up inside. I haven't cleaned the inside of this car really well in a long time. Now I most certainly don't recommend you guys do this. Uh, I've never been a fan of doing this with the engine in the car. Like it's a lot less sketchy whenever it's just a shell because there is actually quite a bit of weight right here on the front. Uh, I wasn't able to fit the bigger strap either, so I had to use these smaller straps, but I have it, as you can see, there's two straps here, and it's running four times. So it's like one, two, three, four on each side, you know what I'm saying? So it's more than doubled up. 
Um, so hopefully we don't have any problems, bro. I feel pretty confident it's not gonna break, so, or else I wouldn't be doing this. It's still sketchy as all hell. This isn't nearly high enough. I still gotta go at least another foot up, so. Well, the tow hook's about to touch the ground, but there ain't nothing, man. <laughs> the hood's about to touch the ceiling. I actually need to shut the hood, though. I'm gonna put a rag on here, because I'm pretty sure it's gonna hit that. Oh, nope, it's gonna miss it. Eesh. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the hood up because I'm afraid, let's say this hydraulic started bleeding down with the hood sitting right here, it would just completely crush my damn hood. So I'll just have to keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't overextend and go backwards, you know what I'm saying? But uh, for the time being, I got my ECU all covered up and my fuse panel, and not to mention, I'm just gonna not like focus on this area whenever I'm pressure washing of course uh, I've never had these seat covers off so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off as well so maybe I'll wash them bro <laughs> it's probably a terrible idea because they'll probably never go back on correctly but I don't know should I do it or should I not do it kind of oh there's they're like glued on. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. I thought they're just like wrapped around here, but no, they're actually glued. I'll go ahead and leave that be. Okay. Try to blow as much of the dust out as I can first before we create mud. You know what time it is. Pressure washer time. What are you working on there, Braven? Fast guy stuff. Fast guy stuff. Bro. <laughs> you say fast guy stuff. Didn't, didn't somebody just comment on your Instagram saying, are you ever going to do anything with that car or then take pictures of it in different spots of the driveway? Oh, Did that just happen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Braven's trying to run his hood latch. Um, in order to do so, he's got to run the cable all the way to the inside of the car. And to do it correctly, you got to pull this damn fender off. And to pull that damn fender off, you got to pull the damn bumper off. So it's like, take the whole car apart, why don't you? Good thing he's doing so anyhow, because this fender needs to scoot up probably like, like an eighth of an inch, bro. Like just ever so slightly, it's got to scoot up. Because sometimes whenever you open the door, uh, this piece of side molding rubs on this piece of side molding. It hasn't caused any damage, but we've been worried about it. You know what I'm saying? So. So blasted all the dirt and everything out for now. Look, dude, look how dark that water is, bro. You see, that is the reason why I'm doing this, because that's freaking disgusting. But just blast it out really quick, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take my foam cannon. You guys already know I got this thing completely filled up with super clean, dog. There's there's a little bit of dish soap in here just to add some some thickness to it, you know what I'm saying? But that is just pure super clean in there. So we're gonna go ahead and blast it out with some super clean. Um, and then my idea is to go ahead and scrub it and everything too before we rinse it. I'm just gonna go through and scrub all the really bad areas. Make sure all the dirt and crap breaks up, you know what I'm saying?
I need to make a freaking block off for this where my old gas tank was at. Lined right up, huh? Oh, yeah, the, the, the headlight's a little out of whack. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be bolted back on. Push it, bro. Don't be a pussy. A little harder? It's, it's doing the first little latch. Well, he got the latch in and he ran the cable. Now I uh, just, you know, do a little bit of adjusting here and there. The uh, secondary latch that actually holds the thing shut. Anyhow, yeah, I got khaki all sprayed out. I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna try to dry it myself. I don't wanna let it just air dry. Oh, I gotta go grab the vacuum so I can get the little puddles out and stuff. a huge difference just being clean man like all the paint in here being all shiny and stuff and not seeing all the dirt all embedded in all the little crevices and all that um i still gotta unwrap my ecu but uh whenever we do go to paint the bumpers and all the other little stuff i probably will take my gun and like touch up some little areas in here just just with the paint bro no clear coat but for now it just feels good to actually get the inside of it all cleaned up now the outside's filthy <laughs> Uno El Toro. Gotta wipe down all the uh, water spots from the rain. All right, so working on getting the doors all reassembled. Um, I got to get all the little rubber trim put back in, uh, get the door latch and handle and hinges, like all that stuff reassembled, and then we'll go ahead and put the doors back on the car because at least these are ready. Really wanted to spray the bumpers today, bro, but it has literally started sprinkling like three times already since we have just been out here. So I don't know, I just, I don't wanna get wet paint going in the booth and then it just start pouring down rain. I always feel like I'm making excuses, dude, but every time I plan on spraying, the weather has a different idea. is all ready to go uh dude i'm not gonna lie man i completely forgot how much rubber it is that goes on these damn things so i laid this all out so you guys can see it but every single piece of that goes on the door so this is all for the passenger door but driver door is finished um i did not put the hinges on yet because i figured it's probably gonna be easier to put the hinges actually on the body of the car um and then hold the door up there and as far as to get it lined up i don't know i'll figure it out whenever we uh, get the other door assembled but i also taped off the bottom lip right here so whenever we're putting the door on i don't have to worry about chipping up any paint and also so that i can stand this thing up on the concrete and not feel bad about it <laughs> i just i cannot put that painted edge down on the concrete like that um, but i did need somewhere to put the door for now so i can go grab the other door when you start assembling that anyhow do you guys notice anything different about the door anything different whatsoever from the last time color match door handles bro <laughs> so this time Instead of leaving the door handles black, I went ahead and color matched them. So I think that is going to be um, just one of those little touches that's just gonna make it look so much better whenever the car is complete. <laughs>
next day, I ended up telling myself last night, I was like, man, it's too cold for this shit. I'm gonna pick this back up tomorrow. And then I completely forgot that I was getting the carpets clean today, man. So we literally had to empty the whole entire house, like empty all the bedrooms all into the living room right now. So we can get the carpets all deep cleaned and scrubbed. I'm excited, man. The carpets have been needing to be cleaned for a while, but anyhow, I, I pulled the other door out last night. I was about ready to start on it. I'm not sure how much I'm really gonna get done because as soon as uh, he's done with the carpets, then we gotta get, we gotta let them dry, but we gotta get the rest of the house put all back together. But I'm gonna at least try to get this door assembled while he's cleaning. Dude, you can't, I can only see you right now. You can't even see like what's behind you. <laughs> you can't see anything else? No, I only see you. <laughs> Dude, oh, it's so freaking hilarious, bro. It looks like the eyes. pictures ever. Hell yeah, too bad Christmas is already over. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This shit a little dirty. <laughs> Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm messing around with this fender now, trying to get the, like, dude, OCD and and body gaps, oh my God, they don't go hand in hand, I'll tell you that right now. So I've been trying to get this gap a little bit tighter. I will say that I remember that this gap was kind of big before I took the car apart. So it's not really anything that I'm doing wrong right now, but it's, I don't know. I'm just trying to get it right. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get it a little bit better than what it was before. Because I know I was always able to like see through the gap and be able to see the hinge to my door. Um, and I've, I'd like to get it a little tighter. But it's so difficult, man. Because look, look how close it is right now. So the gap is kind of on the big side at the moment. I got it a little bit tighter, I will say. But whenever you go to open the door, look how close this gets. Dude, that is like right there. Oh, it's actually touching. Yeah, it's touching. So, uh, I don't know. I've been using this little plastic guy and just kind of trying to flex the fender because it's mostly just right in the center. And I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's more than likely because of the cut and like it kind of loses the shape of the fender. That's why it's like so difficult to do this. So like if I push on the front side of the fender, you know what I mean? That actually changes quite a bit. Changes the gap quite a bit. So, I don't know. I'm going to continue messing with it. I just, I want to get it as tight as I po uh, possibly can, of course. But at the same time, I don't want them rubbing because then I'll end up chipping the damn paint. So, I'm going to continue messing with it. And then we'll move on to getting the passenger side fender on. Which I'm really excited for because we haven't seen the passenger side the same color as the car in forever. You know what I mean? It's been black ever since we got back from Tennessee.
but once again it started raining on us uh so we moved khaki into the garage and then it stopped raining so it is what it is but got both doors on now both fenders are on now um that's for the most part all i can do everything else still needs to be painted <laughs> but i can go ahead and put the tail lights on i think that's what i'm gonna do is get the tail lights on for now and i got that little rubber molding piece that i can put on so try to get as much done as i possibly can I've also been wiping all my rubber down with some armor all like the whole entire thing and all the dust and all the whatever off of it you know what I mean but you have to actually not just wipe it down but you have to like take your fingernail and get it into the little cracks all the way around just I don't know just the little touches man Not a lot of people ask me if this um, rubber molding I have for all my door jams and everything if like where I got it from and if it's brand new and no it's it's not brand new it's the original molding that actually came on the car um it's just in really good shape man i don't know luckily it's in really good shape because i'm sure it's probably really hard to find if you needed it but hell freaking yeah I do the same thing with the tail lights get everything all wiped down because like right here you don't even see this section but it's all full of dust and stuff people are lighting off fireworks I just want to go through and get it all cleaned up and get all the dirt and shit off of it. Very nice, very nice. I'll buy, how much? I don't know. Sick. Again. Again. So sexy. <laughs> I freaking love it. Well, there it is so far, man. We should have one more painting video um, and then a final assembly video as far as khaki. So we're damn near there. We just got to get the bumpers and stuff done if the freaking weather will work with me. I got all the rubber trim on and everything. Dude, I swear, this this looks like, like, you know, like whenever girls wear mascara, how it just make like, it just amplifies things. It just makes it look so much prettier. Like, dude... I dig all the little black trim going all around, all the, the window jams and the rear hatch jam, but hell yeah, bro, coming out freaking nice. And I got the doors opening and shutting a lot better than what they did before. And as you see, actually sprayed the inside of the doors this time, though you won't see it because I'm gonna put my aluminum door panels back on. Tail lights looking fresh. Ah, the car is filthy though. <laughs> it did get some rain. Well, actually, whenever we pressure wash the inside, um, the outside got all water speckled and everything. But once we get it all complete and, and put together, then I'll go ahead and spray the thing off. You guys already know, it's my favorite thing to do is wash my cars. But I'm really digging it, man. It's nice to finally see. It's really refreshing to see a khaki fender. And a khaki fender on both sides, right? But yeah, anyhow, guys, I have an entire house to put back together. Um, the, the carpet cleaner guy did a really good job. Huge freaking difference. It's the first time we've had our carpets clean since we moved in. When we first moved in, I had them cleaned. Um, and then it's been like three years, man. So it was pretty bad. Definitely glad to have gotten it done. That dude was freaking affordable as all hell. So I told him I might end up having him come like every three months or so to kind of stay on top of it. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you're excited for uh, Khaki to be near the end once again. <laughs> Peace out, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.